video is our second video of the new video series that I am putting together drills for you to be able to work on, on the pads, on the bag, and shadow boxing. And I encourage you to work them, work all three of those in your workouts. Uh, if you don't have somebody to work, on, work the pads with you, of course, you can do these drills on the heavy bag and while you're shadow boxing. So today's the second video, I'm gonna bring in my uh, box of Keontae Irving to demonstrate. And it's gonna be a spin-off of a video that I did with Keontae. So if you wanna check that video out, it was countering and defending the right hand, part one. So what we did in that video is we showed two ways to counter and defend the right hand. The first way is when he threw, when I threw a right hand at him, he would block the right hand and when he blocks that right hand, like I always tell everybody, it's not about picking your hand up, it's about your hands and elbows are in, he's gonna take himself down a little bit to block it, and he's throwing the right hand off of it, and we were coming back with a hook as well. So the first, the first counter, and the defense and counter is the basic block of the right hand, coming back with a right hand and a hook. The second defense and counter was the shoulder roll, the Philly shell and the shoulder roll, I throw a right hand, he's going to use his roll, and he's going to come back with a right hand and a hook. So for drill purposes, you can put something like this together, okay? So what we're going to do with the drill today that we're going to show you is he's going to start off throwing a one-two. I'm going to come back with a right hand off of his right hand. He's going to block it. He's going to come back with a right hand, a hook, and a right hand, okay? He's going to throw three punches. Then I'm going to throw another right hand at him, and he's going to use that shoulder roll, and he's going to throw a right hand and a hook. So it's going to look like this. He's going to go one, two, block, one, two, three, block, one, two. He's throwing three punches. So two, then three, then two. So he's going one, two, block, right hand up top, right hand, shoulder roll, right hand up top. Okay? So a little faster now. Beautiful. And if you, if you watch real close, this is another thing that I'm going to continue to emphasize on these drills and on my videos is how boxing is so about rhythm and about synchronizing your whole body and changing speeds. And the way you change speeds is by being in rhythm. And when you're in rhythm, you're going to be able to make those speed transitions smoother. When, when you're smooth, you're fast, and when you're smooth, you're able to you're able to change directions. You're able to do all kinds of different things and change speeds and make different transitions with your speed and with your body. Everything synchronizes together, and when you're in rhythm, okay. So, so if you notice when Keontae's throwing this combination, he, he's throwing a one-two. He blocks the first one. He's throwing these ones with speed, and then the next two with power. See, so it's looking like. He's, and he makes that transition very, very smooth. See, so he's throwing one, two. Block, that, and that hook is really the last punch that's hard, okay? So the other thing that we're, we're gonna talk about is the footwork when he's throwing these punches, okay? So when he throws a one, two, throws that jab, that foot's on the floor, the toe's facing his target, okay? Now he throws the right hand, he's gonna rotate his foot. When, he throw, when I throw the right hand, he's gonna put the foot back on the floor, block it. Right hand, hook, right hand, he's rotating. When he throws the hook, he can rotate. So let's say, let's do it one more time. You're gonna throw one, two, block, one, two, three, right. Now, again, when he throws the one, two, and he blocks this, and puts that foot back and forth, he can throw right hand, left hook, he can turn that hook, or again, if he's not trying to put ultimate power on, you don't always have to turn the foot on the hook. He could just throw, he could, he could do either or, okay? It depends on the rhythm and the power that he's trying to put on the punch and the speed that he's trying to put. So let's say he's not gonna turn the foot. He's gonna throw one, two, he's gonna block, turn on the right hand, throw the hook, and then come back with the right hand. Now he rolls with the shoulder. Now these with the power punches. Right hand's a big twist, the hook's a big twist. Now he's turned. See, so the first ones, he's not turning on the hook. On the last hook, he's gonna turn on the hook because we're working, we're working rhythm and we're, throwing, we're putting two different transitions of speed into this drill, okay? So he's going one, two, one, two, three, and then it's gonna turn. So it looks like this. One, two. See, 
stick. I'll put it together fast and then pop, okay? He has a heel toe stance. And so we'll do it from the other side. All the punches that he's thrown are in the heel toe. He's got a heel toe stance in this boxing stance, okay? Just like all, all the times we talk about the heel toe stance. You don't want that right foot behind the left foot. You don't want the left foot in front of the right foot. You want that toe rolling up with that heel. And we just showed you how he mixed the middle of that combination with speed. Now he's going to throw every punch with power. So the way he can do that is he's going one, two. He rolls, now he's boom, boom, and he twists on every shot, okay? So it's again, one, two, one, two, three, shoulder roll, that's it. So he goes faster, everyone's with power. Show you the same drill on the heavy bag, okay? So he's going to do the same thing on the heavy bag. So this is all, like I said, again, about, goes back to my video about imagination. Being able to create your own imagination when you're working on the bag and working on shadow boxing without working the pads with someone throwing punches at you. You gotta be able to have your own imagination. So he's gonna show you how he would do that same drill on the bag without me throwing any punches at him. Now when Keontae's doing this drill, again, with the footwork and with the feet, he can, he can, he can be close enough to the bag where he can work this drill being stationary or, again, what happens when you're fighting, got people move, right? So you're gonna have your imagination. He's gonna use his footwork here. He might throw the first two, and then he's gonna step up after the next block. See, he stepped there, and now he's gonna step with his right hand, he's gonna throw his hook, okay? Now he's gonna shoulder roll, come back with the right hand, come on, do it. Do it again. So he's going. As you see, he, he gained ground by moving his feet as he was throwing the combination. So let's just try it and show him from the other side. Good. So I want to go over the fine details of what Keontae was doing there, okay? So when he, when he throws the one-two, then he imagines that the guy's going to throw the right hand back at him. He goes to block the right hand, he doesn't pick that hand way up. He just keeps that hand right there and he keeps it close to the rib case like we're talking about and he turtles down so he can cover everything, okay? He's not gonna pick that hand up. He's gonna turtle down, he's gonna sit down a little bit and block it and look on the inside of that glove. At the same time, he's looking on the inside of that glove with that left eye, he's gonna step. He's gonna step because when you're blocking, when you're blocking, you're, the guy is not extended, he's not, it's not like when you roll. So you want to get closer to him when you block. Because if you don't, he, you, you, could, you could block it, and then when you go to counter, he'll be out of the way. So when you block a shot, you could take a baby step to get closer. So he's blocking the shot, and then he, he's taking the step with the left foot at the same time. And then when he throws the right hand, he's stepping with the right foot as well. Because he took a little step with the left, he takes a little step with the right, and he gets closer. Okay? So then, what he does off of that is he rolls with the shot. Now, when you roll with the shot, you want to pull the guy into you. So you can roll with the shot, and you can take a baby step back if you want to. So you're going one, two, block and get closer. Then you can imagine that you're going to roll with the punch and you can, you can slide step back. So when you take the right foot back, then you slide with the left foot back. Now, if the guy's not closer, you can step back in and throw the right hand. Or you can roll and he's right there because he's leaning. You're going to catch him with an uppercut or catch him with a right hand. So that's two different ways to deal with a straight right hand. And that's the details of the footwork. Like I said, the block, you're getting closer to the guy. The roll, you're pulling away from the guy and you're rolling the guy into the punch. Okay, so that's two different ways. And that's how he's doing that with his feet. He's, the block, he's getting closer. The roll, he's pulling the guy into the punch. And then, like I said, you can continue to incorporate that and keep on adding 
to what you're learning here and starting to put together on the bag and on shadow boxing and on the pads. And I will show you down the line how you can incorporate all of that in, in, in an extended drill.